what's up guys in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do push notification using Expo SDK and React Native as you can see here on the left here is my device I'm using Postman to send the, the notification to my phone just for testing purpose uh, you can try to do one hello world and title of the, not of the notification you can try to send and yeah you can see here if you want to try to change the body so you can see that it's working. Yeah, yeah so let's see it is working. Uh, I'm using Expo SDK as you can see here from the diagram. It's a really cool diagram, it, it really explains how everything should work. Yeah? And basically, this is your backend, yeah? which in my case is Firebase. And the backend, as soon as you open the app, the way I've done it is as soon as you open the app, you will register the token of your device. Once you register the token from your device, I'll then send it to my backend under the user ID. And this goes here. So here is my users, here is my user ID, and this is the exponent push token. As you can see it's the same but it's from two different users because I've logged in with the same device but with two different users. So the push token, your token, it will be the same if you have the same device. So the push token is just like an ID but it's not for every user, it's for every device. So yeah here as you can see this is my backend, it's where I store the push token and all I need to do is like do a post request to the expo backend with a specific header and a specific uh, uh, push token in order to receive it to a specific user and then the expo backend if you have an Android it will send it to the Android if you have an iOS it will send it to the iOS the only difference is that let me try to open expo so this is my project and if I try to send a push notification now you, you won't come up on the app because the only difference from iOS and Android the, the push notification for iOS it will work only if you outside of the app but for Android even if you have the, the app open or, or if it's closed it will still work but here it won't work it won't work if the app is open so I need to go to home yeah yeah now it works if I try to lock my screen oh. yeah so if I try to lock my screen and sending the notification yeah you will receive it. and once you deployed your application you won't be you won't see the expo and you won't see the logo it will come up with your logo and with the name of your app so so yeah it's pretty cool so the way I've done it, uh, I can show you now here. So if you see, oh, what the fuck? No, it's not this problem. Let me see. Uh, yeah, just give me a sec. So on the previous video, I made a quick tutorial on how to do a user authentication using uh, Firebase, and I can put the link below in the description. And the only thing that I've changed is literally just here. So here I initialize my Firebase app. Uh, so this comes already as a template. So when you open Expo and you try to do a new template is the one with the tab navigator and if I yeah so it's this one and this register for push notification async it comes already in, in the template all I've done I've added this Firebase initialize app I've imported my Firebase and here I'm taking the 
the current user ID and here I just push it to the users on the user ID and token and just push the token and then that's it that's pretty much it like this is just like an example with the login and it's really really simple I spent like honestly days and weeks trying to understand how push notification works uh, without using Expo and React Native but it was just like really really long Expo has uh, erupted everything around the push notification for iOS and Android for the Google, for the Google Cloud and the APN S for iOS so yeah that's how I made it work using Firebase and as I said before this is two different user but with the same push token because they're using the same device obviously it will be a different push token for the same user so this will update so say for example that you log in with this user but you have a different device then the token it will update with a different token so yeah once again if you want to see it so yeah i can just do So I'll push the code into GitHub so you can have a look at the way I've done it. Obviously, you should change your. Uh, obviously, you should change uh, your initialize app with your details of your fiber pro uh, of your Firebase project. And if you want to, oh, there's one thing that I forgot about. When you do a post re post re uh, request to the Expo backend, uh, you should have these three headers. If you don't have these three headers, it won't work. And uh, you can do a post request uh, from a project. Uh, so say for example that you press into bottom and you want to update a different user, you can uh, do a post do a post request using Axios. And I hope to do it on the next video. But this is just to give you a general idea of how I implemented the push notification. Thank you so much and if you like this video just subscribe and uh, no, share it. Thank you.